Once you see me on this apron, you know the stomach is about to smile. to the Chi Chi Show. Today I'm going to be making Nigeria Party Jellof Rice. Woo! Today I'm going to be making my Nigeria Party Jellof Rice with curry, bay leaf, no cube, blended thyme, blended pepper, dry pepper, yes, blended dry pepper, this method will shock you, nutmeg, blended nutmeg, salt, berica tin tomatoes, look at it, berica tin tomatoes, vegetable oil, some people call it ground oil, you need a lot of onions, so these onions I'm using it to boil my turkey and the jello fries. This is the rice and I'm using turkey today. So this is a turkey wheat. I'm going to start with preparing my turkey wheat. So here I'll put salt. No cube. Time. Nutmeg, a little bit because I'm supporting the jello fries. Curry, and I already washed the. Okay, and you put your onions. Now my turkey is cooking. Just want to quickly pack away. Welcome back. Ten minutes after ten minutes. Hmm. Look at it. Remember, we did not add water. You see, there was no water. I did not add any water. So look at the outcome. See how it looks. Hmm. If you can, yeah, I wish you can perceive. I know you will even be perceiving it from there. The smell, the smell of this, this thing. Oh my God. You see? The smell of this turkey. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hi! Are you seeing what I'm saying? Eh? Look at this. Hmm. Mm -mm. Wahala for who knows a kuko. Stick to chi the chi chi show, please. So you have different method. This jello rice today. <laughs> I said, you people, most of us, right now we know how to cook jello rice, but this method will shock so many people. Please try it. Try this method and uh, comment your feedback, please. So I just added a little water. So I'll be back again in five minutes. 
Okay, welcome back. It's been five minutes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, you see? Don't put too much water because this thing generates its own water. You see the talking? And if you put too much water, it's gonna make the keke. Ask Google what is the keke. <laughs> okay, look at it. See? So now just allow it to cook to your texture. Welcome back, family. My fried turkey is ready and my turkey gravy is ready. So let's go. Let's go get started. Okay, for this sauce, the uh, jello fry sauce that we are going to use, I'm going to be using the oil that I used to fry my turkey. So I'm going to take from the oil. The oil is already hot, so no need for you to make wait for the oil to be hot. Now look at my onions. That's a lot of onions. Put my onions. Okay, I like to dry a little bit. Don't just uh, put your onions and just no. Allow it to dry so that the taste of the onions enter the oil. My, I put my stew for my party jello fry separately. Reason being that I don't want my jello fries to just be burnt uh, to get to burn, right? Because if you put the tomatoes at the bottom of the pot, it's going to burn. So I'd like to put it on top of the rice. So I do my, I uh, cook my stew, I fry my stew separately. I'll add the onions to dry a little bit more. Okay, now here's the tin tomatoes. I'm gonna apply the tin tomatoes now. Then you stir. Mm. I hear the smell, the aroma of this. This is so nice. This is a very <laughs> unique method. This method is so unique. But it, just follow the step the way I'm making it now. You must come and thank me later. Your your spouse, your wife, your husband will ask you how did you learn party your love life. This is going to give you a plain, sweet Nigeria party your love life. Trust me. So I'm gonna. In my next video, other videos I'm going to make, then I'll do the normal, regular, homemade uh, jello fries. But in this particular one, because I know most of us don't know this, and I want us to be aware of this, rather right than doing this first. Just work it and you will enjoy it. So you got the sterile, so it doesn't get burnt. So you can do this stirring for like five minutes. Don't use too much hot stove. Medium heat. Otherwise, you see this in burning. It'll be burning here. Even in your face. So, medium heat. Okay, 
ready I'm gonna add my dry pepper blended dry pepper I didn't use fresh pepper like I said I dry pepper nutmeg is very essential I'm making this is nutmeg I'm not putting too much because I, because I have already in my gravy I'm not putting too much spices the season okay here's my time it's a time you don't want to put too much time otherwise it's jello fries will be time 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 tasting time 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 so everything must be moderate put everything in a moderate state not too much let nothing overshadow anyone so everything moderate this is curry a little bit of curry so now we're gonna add water Salt. ready can you see this can you see this so it's ready ready so now get my rice already parboiled rice my stew is ready look at that <laughs> so it's now now I'm gonna put the stew top of my rice so the rice I put I put the turkey gravy on already so I will put this here you see you just put it on top don't mind my big pot I like using this pot for my jello fries because it doesn't burn so you just put all this on top Welcome back. Let's check the jello fries. Woo! Party jello fries. Okay, now we're gonna stir, turn everything together. Oh my god, this <laughs> the scent of this thing, eh? My neighbors will say, What's going on here? What's going on here again? Okay. So now I'll reduce the stove, cover it. 
just to make the steam make it soft and let it have that little burnt taste so i'll cover it with use the heat so it will look as if you use firewood It's been five minutes and I am back. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ooh, can you be this? <laughs> you see? Oh. Can you beat this? Hmm. Our part Nigeria Patsy Jellof rice is ready. Welcome back, family. My Nigeria Patsy Jellof rice. And my fried turkey is ready. So I know most of us, most of you might not know this method. This method is so good. The taste is second to none. Your family will think you went to a party. Trust me. Just follow it the way I did it. If you don't understand it so well, or if you miss something, please comment on the comment section. And I will explain further. This Nigeria Jello fries is easy. You can see it's so easy. You, you must not cook it with turkey though. I'm just cooking this one with turkey. I'm going to make other videos. I will use beef or even goat meat. So you must not be turkey. You can cook with uh, beef. You can cook with goat meat. You can cook with chicken, fish, even fish. You can, do you know this jello fry? You, might, you can even cook it with tart gravy and it will still be sweet. So just follow the method the way I did it and you will thank me later. Please comment your feedback on the comment section. Please. Okay? You know there is no dog cheat tissue in tart gravy, guys. And you remember our covenant in this show. No divorce, no separation, no heartbreak to any follower of this show. I beg you guys, subscribe to this show. It's not hard to subscribe. You don't need to do anything big. You just need to press that button, that red button that is under this video like the video comment share it let people know the method of making the nigeria party jello fry share the video to tell the friend to tell the friend to tell the friend to tell the friend about the cheap cheap show i'm gonna be seeing more 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 of this this is not our regular kind of jello fries yes it came out perfectly well See, I see you again next Saturday. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Bye. When you see me on this apron, you know that the stomach is about to smile. the ingredients I'll be using for this banga today. Here I have blended dry pepper, no cube, salt, crayfish, banga spice, all blended, all the spices are blended here together, 
here I have the leaf. Today I'm using Belletete leaf. But if you don't have Belletete leaf, scent leaf can serve the purpose. Dried served, uh, scent leaf. Here is the banga we are using today, already blended. Then I have smoked fish. I like to use smoked fish in my banga because I just wanted to give it that taste. Then I have like this serve as my fresh fish. So I had because I like fresh fish in my banga soup. So this is my assorted meat that I'll be using today. Here we have I have uh, different kind of meat: cow leg, cow tongue, shaki. Everything is here. Then this is the onions I'm going to be using to season the meat. Nigerians abroad, if you are looking for the banga spice, look at it here. It's in all Africa store abroad have this banga spice. They are everything that you need to cook your banga. All the spices are blended in one. They are all in here. So this is it. If you want banga spice. So this is the banga we are using. It's already processed. So that's just the banga we are using today. It's up just like the one we use back home. Just the same. It's up the same purpose. It's very good. And also this because I like fresh fish in my banga soup. This serves as fresh fish for me. This fish is this fish is very good. It's baza steak, very good. It serves as like, uh, fresh fish. It's close to fresh fish. So if you are abroad, you are looking for something that is close to fresh fish, this fish can serve too for you. This is how I steam my meat. In here, I have salt. I have no cube, I have onions, and I do not put water, no water. So the meat is going to generate its own water. So there's no water here. So just stay together for all the, the spice to mix up. Then you just close the pot. I like to steam, no water. Okay, it has been five minutes and I'm going to tell you, show you how it looks like. So this is it. So you see, did you see the water? We didn't put any water here. So the reason why we don't put water in the first five minutes, I don't put water in my, when I'm steaming my meat, is for the meat, the seasoning that I put to get inside the meat, you know, make you enter inside so that when you bite that meat, you will taste you see that it is well seasoned so that is how you season your meat you don't put water for the first five minutes and the reason is for the seasoning that you put in the meat to steam the meat to enter inside the meat very well and when you taste this meat you see the difference all your spices will be in there so that is it so now i'm going to add water a little bit i go little by little i don't just put too much water so a little bit and allow it to boil again for another 10 minutes let's check it after 10 minutes wow so this is how it looks after 10 minutes so the reason why i don't just pour too much water in my meat why steaming it is because i don't want my meat to lose its taste I want to keep those spices that I put earlier in the meat. So now that's the reason why I put my water little by little. So now we're going to just put water. Now you can now put water to this texture that you like for your meat. So for me, I don't like a very, very soft meat because when my, my, when my soup is getting old, it, the meat becomes softer. So I don't put too much. I don't like my meat to be too soft, so I'm just going to put water, the texture I like. Alright, so I'll quickly boil my fish because my meat will soon be ready. 
your fish does not take too much time or like the meat. And I don't like my fish to be scattered. So I don't boil it for too long. I'm just going to quickly boil my fish. I boil it with salt. Just salt. Need the water. I don't do that. I want to keep my fish in its whole state. I don't want my my meat to be looking for my fish in my soup, so that when I dish out the soup, I can see the fish. Okay, my meat is ready. Check this out. Ooh. check it out. Wow. See. So now I'll start putting the ingredients. I'm going to start with pepper. I eat pepper, but this pepper is not pepper fish too. So, for the pepper, I stir. My crayfish, I like crayfish so much. So, I'm going to put this much. Fish. Don't mind me, I cook my food step by step. That's when everything really goes in. I don't wash when cooking. Even though banga is easy, it's a very easy soup to cook. Especially when you have this, this uh, processed one already. So, if you notice, I use the my meat uh, gravy. I call it meat sauce with meat gravy for as my water. So I don't really need to put too much spices because there is already spices in the gravy so i'm going to cover it let it steam together for like three minutes it's been three minutes look at that see hmm. it's been three minutes we are back so now look at how the banga is you see already processed so we're going to put the banga in Voila. Mm. 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 If you have not tried banga soup before, mm. please, oh, you are missing a lot. After the after you finish watching this video, please go and make banga soup. If you are not so clear with anything, just comment. I will sure answer you. And answer your question just let me know where you need clarity and i will answer you i will respond look at that you see so the banga is in here now okay what next i'm gonna put the maggi a little bit i'm not gonna put too much This is no cube. Pardon me. And now is the banga spice. This is banga spice. I put a lot. It's not because it's everything blended together, so it's gonna look like a lot. So step. This banga is looking like it's looking. It's thick now, so I need to put more water so that I can boil very well. And it's thick. So I put small water to a light boil very well. Hmm. Hmm. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Mm -hmm. To a light to boil. Let everything steam together for another 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, so this is after 10 minutes. Ooh. 
Oh my God! What is this? Banga soap. I said, what is this? Banga soap. Oh. So this is after 10 minutes. So now the last thing I put is the leaf. I put the leaf first. So if you are not cooking with fish, your banga is ready. But if you are cooking with fish, me, I like to put my fish last, last, last. Like I said earlier, I like my fish to be in a hole. So this is a smoked fish. The reason why I use smoked fish for this banga is because I just want that smoke taste, you know, to give you that smoke taste. So I'm going to put the fish now. I've already caught it, you see? It has been opened. I removed the bones already. Okay, I'll just go down. Oh. See what I'm seeing? Say why? Wow. Say ha ha ha. Salah. <laughs> The juicy banga soup. Oh my god. Please comment where this school that this banga went to. Please comment it. The school. So now, this is my fish. The one I told you before, you see? It may hold. So I'm going to put it. It's my egg. Then. So my husband likes. To see fish like this, he likes fish. I like him to see it. Baka. So, even if they have got him through, so it will scatter. But it's not going to scatter, trust me. So, okay. the other one. So, or in there. See your fish, right? Okay, now you stay with Kel. <laughs> your fish is there. Stay with K. I beg. I beg you, my people. My family. Hey, we will be giving them hot, hot. That's why you are following this channel. Your husband will ask you. I say you'll be rated 100 percent In fact, I'm moving it to 110. Hmm. 110. Hmm. Give him this soup. 110. That your pocket money will increase. The Brazilian hair you'll be asking for, you will get it. Tonight. It has been three minutes that the soup has been cooking. So now, this is our final banga. Look! Our banga soup is ready. Mm. It's ready, 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 my dear. It's ready. Okay, family. Our banga soup is ready. So, this banga soup, you see, I told you about the my fish, the reason why I brought my fish separately. You see, I was able to get a whole fish. And this banga soup, you can eat it with stash, you can eat it with eba, you can eat it with amala, you can eat it, eat it with pando, padded yam, rice, yam. Banga goes with everything. Please, if you have not tried this banga, I will have us, please go and try it. Go and try banga soup and you will come back to thank me. So you can eat this thing with any anything, even yam. You can eat it with yam and it will still be cocoa yam or any plantain and it will still be good. So banga is a very, very good soup and it's easy to make. Very sweet, very delicious. 
like I said earlier, if there's anywhere where, where you do not understand or you need more clarification, just let me know. Comment it on the comment section and I will sure uh, get back to you. Welcome back, family. If you are new to Winnipeg and you are wondering where you could get African food from, stick to this show. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to be making a video on where I get my African food from. Also, please subscribe to this channel. It is free. You don't need to pay for it. It is free. Hit that red button that is up below this video and subscribe. It costs you nothing, but it's going to help my channel. Also, like my videos and comment. Comment whatever the kind of food you want me to make in my next video. And the comments with the most likes will be the food I'll be making in my next video the feedback from this cooking today will determine what next i'll do the next video I should do okay family you know i love you guys remember our covenant in this show there is no divorce no separation no heartbreak in the name of jesus you know i love you guys i love you i love you i love you there is no the chi chi show without you guys so i love you so much i'll see you again next thursday for my egusi soup are salt blended crayfish blended dry pepper no cube boga fish boiled diced pomo smoked uh, titus fish dried fish my meat stock spinach yeah my leaf today is gonna be spinach Tin tomatoes, blended egusi, my already boiled meat. In here I have beef, shaki, cow tail, and cow leg, and my palm oil. So these are the ingredients I'm gonna be using today. For my A B C soup. Okay, let's start preparing this delicious egg greasy soup. So first, you put your palm oil. This is gonna be a fried egg greasy soup. Instantly, put your tin tomato before the color of the oil will change. That's scary. Medium heat. I think I'll be too hot. 
I just don't want to be too So maybe I'll do that. Apply your egg whisky. Add your egg whisky. Then you stir again. Make sure you are stirring very fast so it doesn't get burnt. Don't let it to, to be too dry. So just for like one minute, then you add your meat sauce. Okay, now you can add normal water. Now it's coming up. Now you can now add your ingredients. Pepper goes first. I like pepper. Your crayfish. I like crayfish too. Stir together. Otherwise, if you don't stir very well, you see. The egusi will go to one corner, water will go to one corner. So go. if you stir very well, everything will mix together. Your boga fish, already broken boga fish. So if you see my soup, every follower of the chichi show, please don't come, don't make boring soup. Please don't make boring soup. You don't need to put too much, you know, everything too much. Just little by little. So now we're going to add more water. While you add water, keep stirring. So everything mixes together. So you put all this spice, uh, all this uh, like uh, boga fish, crayfish, meat fish, just little by little. That combined taste, oh my god, we make your your soup standard. So your spouse will say, ah, this soup, this soup is not boring. Don't make a boring soup just with only uh, meat. No, put combination of things, of animals and fish. You don't need to be too much. Okay, so now I add. Uh, no cube not so much because my meat sauce all, all already have these things there's already no cube in there okay so the next thing I'll do I'll add my meat stay in See, I'm always staring. See everything just mix up together. Butter will not be in one side, and the egg juice will be in the other side. You know? So always stay together. Okay, now it's looking like it's thick. Add more water. So it can boil very well. Okay, my smoked fish can go in here now and my dry fish See, little they are not much but they are there so this will give your soup a very good taste and when your family any your husband your wife when they are eating this soup they will bite a uh, fish they will take smoke but more 
small beef. So that's what makes them before you know it, the full uh, bowl of uh, 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 eba or pandayam, they will finish it. So you just buy them little by little because you see my meat now. There's chaki there, there's cow leg, there's a uh, uh, cow tea. Just little by little, those combination gives your soup that very good and rich taste. So now this is my diced boiled and uh, my boy diced the uh, bomo. So I boiled it and I just diced it later. So you can when you take one one stroke of uh, pader yam, you will take one of the bomo. So that will make everything go in well. Bam. When you swallow. Add that so the leaf is always the last. I think this soup is a little bit thick. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. So it will go very, very well. So. I like to boil together for like three minutes, it will be back. Three minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you see this? So this is after three minutes. Give it a stir. So now we can add the lid. If you don't want your soup to be too watery, Add the water except you need the water. For me now, I don't need the water. Okay, just cover, put it in the medium heat, let the heat of the let the heat just be cook the leaf then we'll be back Just... okay welcome back let's see how our ABC is doing wow it's that ABC will increase your pocket money
tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend about the Chi Chi Show. And remember our covenant in this show, no divorce, no separation, no heartbreak to every follower of this show. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, until I see you again next Saturday for the cooking show and Thursday for our regular videos. Okay, love you guys. Bye. When you see me on this apron, you know the stomach is about to smile. For my fried rice today are chili, salt, seasoning cube, curry, blended thyme, a little bit of little bit of onions. I'll be putting liver, strips, green pepper, my minced veggies, my minced duck. My vegetable oil, organic oil, and my rice. So here is my fried chicken. I'm using chicken today. First, I will start by boiling my rice. Let me just start preparing my veggies for my fried rice. So, I'll start by putting my vegetable oil and the oil heat up. Okay, fried rice does not really require onions, too much onions. But just because I'm frying it, I just use a little bit of onions. Veggies. Green pepper. Stir together. Strings. Yep. Little chili. Liver. Guys, liver. Okay, now salt. Seasoning cube. Little, little, little bit of your curry. So is this curry that gives the fried rice its green color? So curry and this uh, green pepper, green beans. Yeah. But curry is the major thing that gives fried rice its green color. So you keep stirring. Okay. So I like to fry. Be back in 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. Look at how our veggies look like. You see? So we still need some time for it to be ready. So we'll be back in like 15 minutes. Okay, my rice is already parboiled. Now I want to get the rice ready. 
So this is my meat stock for my chicken. So you add that. The curry, like I said, is the curry that gives your fried rice the green color. So you can't cook fried rice without curry, except you don't want it to be green. Okay, a little bit of thyme, a little bit of chili pepper, just a little bit, because it's like pepper, it's not really necessary. Your seasoning cube, salt, you add your water. So, the rice for fried rice, don't cook it to be too soft, because you have to mix your veggies with your fried rice. So while mixing, the rice becomes softer. So, don't put too much water. See? And you see the color is all, it's changing. It's almost changing already to green. So, you add that too. Boil. And cook. Okay. So, while the veggies is frying, please, stirring it so it doesn't get burnt so I'm just gonna stir my veggie now you see wait let almost ready almost almost ready and you don't want your veggie to be too soft right so you got it so it's almost ready okay the veggies is ready See, it's the oyster and the veggies. See, so it's not so soft. It's ready. So, okay, let me check my rice. Wow, my rice is ready. So I'm just gonna turn together. So that everything will mix up. So you see why I say you don't your rice don't need to be too soft because fried rice will do too much of turning. Okay. Now I'm gonna start adding my veggies. Okay. Now I'll mix veggies and my rice so these are the meats segment by segment fried rice is ready yo. yeah fried rice is ready to be fried rice is very sweet, very healthy. Look at it. You see, it's ready. You see, but if you don't like liver, it's not really okay. Yeah, it's not really compulsory that you must use liver. So, people don't like liver. If you don't like liver, please don't use it. Okay, streams. If you don't like streams, don't use it. But if you do. Add it to make it very healthy and rich. Okay, look at it. Welcome back, family. Please check out my fried rice salad and well, good chicken. Fried chicken. Check it out, please. If you want this, just send me. Comment it on the comment section and you will get it. Look at this. Look at this. Salad, fried rice, and fried chicken. Okay, family. Please enjoy your fried rice tomorrow. Just move a Sunday. Okay, let me see. Please, please, and please, and please subscribe, like, share, comment, make this show interactive. Let it be.
be engaging, let people enjoy, you know? Let us all know each other. Chat up so that we all know each other. Okay, family? You know I love you guys. There is no the cheap cheap show without you guys, my family. You know our covenant here, no separation, no divorce, no heartbreak to any follower of the show. Love you guys. Mine, mine, mine. See you again next Thursday. vegetable oil, tomato paste, onions, tomatoes, fresh tomatoes and fresh pepper, my meat stock and my assorted meat. In here I have shaki, I have momo, I have chicken, I have fugu, yeah. First, I will start by blending my tomatoes. Okay, guys, let's do this. First of all, I'm gonna put my vegetable oil. Allow it to heat up. Okay, now. Put your onion. Okay. I like the onions to dry so that the taste of the onions will be in the oil. So I like to dry a little bit. Okay, just dry. Cut it. Now put I'm going to put my tomatoes, blended tomatoes and pepper. Stir together. Then I like it to boil for 10 minutes. Don't cover. Don't. Welcome back, family. You see, the tomatoes is getting dry. So when it's getting dried, you see that the oil will be coming up and the amount of the tomatoes will reduce. Then you know that much water has left the tomatoes. So now I'm going to add my paste, tomato paste. So once you add your tomato paste, start stirring. Keep stirring there. Okay, family, welcome back. So, this is how when the tomatoes is dry, this is how it looks like. All the oil, the oil will now come on top. You see? oil will not be on top of the tomatoes then you know that the tomatoes is dry so now i'm just going to put the ingredients first of all i'll put my mist up stir it 
together put a little bit of time blending time add some normal water Okay, a little bit of curry. A seasoning to a cube. A little bit of salt. Stir it in together. If you want to taste, you can taste. Mm. Very delicious, very delicious. See this tune, very delicious, very delicious. Okay, now it's to put my meat, which is the last thing. This you need a little bit of more water. I kind of need water. Okay, guys. This is called stew. Stew made with love. <laughs> So we just allow it to boil. Be back. Welcome back, family. My stew is ready. Please check it out. Check my stew out. wonderful family please watch my videos like my videos subscribe to this show and join this wonderful family okay family you know our covenant in this show no separation no divorce no heartbreak to every follower of this show in the name of Jesus I love you all you know there is no the cheat cheat show without you guys so i'll see you again next thursday and 
next Saturday for the cooking show. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'll be using for my Achi with Oha leaf soup today Ah, grounded crayfish, gnocchi, blended pepper, salt, smoked titles fish, the Achi itself, this is the Achi, blended Achi, Oha leaf, I'm using Okoroko which is stock fish, Bonga fish, dry fish, assorted meat, pomo, shaki, cow leg, everything they are in here. And all my protein, my meat, my fish, they are boiled already. And my palm oil. I'll be using palm oil. Oh, I'm so excited to make this soup. So, my meat stock is already here this is the water from my meat stock from my meat so it's already in here now i'm going to add my meat all oh, the bread already boiled right i said it before stay together crayfish blended crayfish my pepper this my soup need more water so i'm gonna add more water to it maggi a little bit of salt my stock fish is okra cook stir it together they allow it to boil for five minutes ready okay it's been five minutes let's see uh -uh. oh my god wow mm. wow 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 okay now we got, i'm gonna up, uh, put my already missed archie together mm, see stick see I need more water so I'm gonna add more water to this now okay so now I'll put my boga fish Aroma, please go and try this soup. No excuse. Okay, so I'm gonna add my smoked fish. Okay, I'll leave it again 
for like three minutes. Or it too well. Welcome back, family. Let's see how it is doing. Oh my god. Wow. Hmm. Achi. I told you guys. Here we'll be giving them hot hot. So now I'm putting my oha leaf. This soup is so good. So good. Come and try it. Okay, now I'm putting my dry fish. Don't want it to I want it to remain whole like this. We'll just allow it steam up for two minutes and our soup will be ready. Okay, family, we are back. Ooh, <laughs> Achi with our hot leaf. Achi soup with our hot. It's ready. It's ready. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My achi with oha leaf soup is ready. Woo! So achi, you can eat achi with fufu, pandanyam, eba, amala. Um, semo, wheat, any swallow goes with achi soup. So please try, family, to make this delicious soup. Welcome back, family. So you see, our achi and oha soup is ready. So family, if you know you are watching the Chichi Show for the first time. And welcome to the Chichi Show. Please subscribe, comment, like, turn on your notification bell so that whenever I post another video, you will get it. For those that are subscribers, returning subscribers of the Chichi Show, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I promise you, you'll be seeing more, more, more of this. If there's anything you really want me to make, comment it on the comment section. And trust me, the comments with the most likes get the next cooking show. You know, is this show, you know our covenant in this show. There's no heartbreak, no divorce, no separation to every follower of the Chi Chi Show. You know I love you guys. There is no the Chi Chi Show without you guys family. So I love you. I love you. I love you. See you again next Thursday and next Saturday for another cooking show. for my delicious yam polish today ah ha, blended crayfish salt seasoning cube blended dry pepper palm oil yeah today i'm gonna be using chicken boiled chicken though this is optional i just want to make it you know yummy yummy 
onions, boga fish, spinach. I'm going to be using vegetable today, and the vegetable will be spinach. Yam already peeled. Tomato space. This is how yam look like for those of you that have not doesn't know how yam look like. Okay, family, let's start. Let's do this. Let's go cook our sweet yam porridge. So this is the meat stock from the chicken. So first, I'm going to put my tomato paste. Oops, there. Our kind of food is yam. We eat it every day. We plant it in our farm. Okay, next, crayfish. Dry pepper blended already. A seasoning cube. Palm oil. And the yam. Onions, burger. Your meat. Salt. Orange, just put everything together. But the leaf is the only thing you put in la. So now, just cover and allow it to cook. Family, let's see how our young porridge is doing. Voila! Oh my god! Let's see. Let's leave it for, let's leave it for some minutes. I need some time. I need to add a little bit of water. I need some time to be ready. Okay, family, let's check how it is going. Alright, so it's time to add those spinach. Okay, family. Let's see. Ooh. Yam porridge is so sweet. My yam porridge is ready. Check it out, guys. Welcome back, family. My yummy, sweet, delicious yam. Porridge is so sweet. It's ready. Check it out, guys. So, family, I want to thank everyone that have just subscribed to the Chick Chick Show. Thank you so much. I love you and I appreciate you. For those that have been with the Chi Chi Show from the onset. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love you, I appreciate you, I honor you. For you that's just watching the Chi Chi Show for the first time, or that have been watching the Chi Chi Show and has not subscribed, please, after watching this yummy, delicious yam porridge is so sweet, please subscribe to the Chi Chi Show like comment tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend about the chi chi show family you know the covenant our covenant
that in this show, no divorce, no separation, and no heartbreak to every follower of the show. I love you. I'll see you again next Thursday for another Goza 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 topic and next Saturday for another cooking show. crayfish, blended dry, uh, dry pepper, palm oil, this is the egg, this is the cocoa yam, so I boiled it and I just mashed it, so this is the cocoa yam, so today I'm using, you know your girl Chichi, she likes using little, little of everything, so there is dry catfish, oporoko, mangala here in here then this is a meat stock from my mix then i'm using cow head beef cow tongue shaki and fuku to cook make this delicious soup so sit back relax and learn how to make the soup Okay, family, let's go get the soup ready. Let's go. Okay, my meat stock, this is the meat stock, right? The water for, for my meat is already boiling. So I'm just gonna put my meat there. We fish Put it together, pepper, Put it together, this need to kill not too much because the, the meat already has stay again together. Oil. Together. Eat this soup, eh? which is coconut soup. Very delicious. When you will finish one full bowl of, uh, uh, if you are using uh, apple, fufu to eat it, and eh? you won't know. So now I'm going to cover it, allow it to boil a little bit. Okay, family, let's see how our soup is doing. Ooh, voila. Mm. So the reason I always I cook like this, then those ingredients has really entered the water. Hmm. Before I will now add the thickener. Before I add the thickener, let me just add more water. Add 
Adende. Ede, which is Kokoya. Okay. I'll find Kokoya in any store. What they say. International food. So just call it little by little. So it's going to melt. Ready to melt. So this area is gonna melt. So let's cover. We'll be back. Family, let's see how our Ede soup is doing. what I'm saying so just in case if you are cooking this soup and your cocoa yam or your egg day did not melt very well just use your uh, spoon to just like you see what I'm doing something like this to just melt it out okay in case in case okay the next thing I'm gonna put my fish Okoroko mangala in here and my fish is already boiled meat already boiled okay so the last thing our food is my bitter leaf my bitter leaf when I'm putting my bitter leaf I don't know if this thing really work but that's what I know I was told that you don't make it scatter so that it doesn't especially if you know you do not wash it very well so if you don't want that bitter taste just put it on it like whole like this then cover it then the bitter taste will fade away <laughs> but it works though so on the cover just allow the steam the heat to steam the bitter leaf we'll be back family let's see how our soup is doing wow it is soup with olubu Out. Wow. Okay, family. Ede soup with olubu is ready. Coco yam soup with bitter leaf is ready. Enjoy. Just send me your address, okay? I'm going to email this soup with true DHL to you, okay? My delicious, tantalizing, yummy, ofedi, coconut, coconut soup. It's ready with bitter leaf. Check this out, guys. Where's your, where's your, uh, where's your gari? Where's your wheat? Where's your semo? Start bringing them now. Come and grab this soup. Say this one and eh, we eat it here, yeah, you know, that kind of food that you will eat. Where you finish eating the food, that's where you will stay the next month. So, <laughs> family ate the soup with bitterly. You can eat it with fufu, you can eat it with uh, fufu apple, you can eat it with pandayam, you can eat it with uh, sembo, you can eat it with amala, you can eat it with eba. You can eat it with uh, 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 wheat. Any swallow. You can eat it so it is so sweet. Very sweet. Very delicious. 
because Ede is kind of too sweet. So that's why you use that vitamin. So the vitamin will kind of suppress that more sweetness. So it will now give you that perfect taste. So guys, try this soup, okay? You can find uh, coconut to buy if you are abroad in all the shop now they sell kokoya even the white ocean where they sell it so you can find it to buy there or you can buy it in african store caribbean store in their shop okay family remember our covenant in this show no divorce no separation no handbook to every follower of the show you know i love you guys thank you for those that just recently subscribed to the Chichi Show. Welcome to this great family. I love you. Honor you. Mwah. For those that have been with Chichi from the one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. For the massive love and support that you've been showing to this lady called Chichi. I appreciate you all. Honor you people. I pray that the good Lord will continue to bless every follower and every supporter of the Chichi Show. I love you all.